There was certainly no flippening this week, more like the flipping out of the entire market. Bitcoin briefly dipped below the psychological 6K mark, but the real story was Ethereum plummeting over 17% in just 24 hours, the biggest fall since March. ICOs, the very thing that led to a price surge of about 1K in February, now might have been to blame for the crash, as startups that raise money from ICOs are apparently cashing out due to the bear market and to cover costs. In an effort to calm the waters somewhat, Joseph Lubin gave an interview. He said, this is something we've seen many times in the Bitcoin ecosystem since 2009. Six big bubbles so far, and each more epic than the previous one. He went on to say that each bubble brings on more entrepreneurs and developers into the space, so that actually, they're not such a bad thing after all. And the market seems to be agreeing, the maps right now are mostly in the green. Also this week, Vitalik gets Bitcoin from his corner stores, Playboy's got the blockchain blues, a currency crisis in Turkey leads to a crypto exchange surge, and BuzzFeed releases an epic crypto list. ETFs are seen as the savior, the white knight that will ride through the chaos, slay the Fudmeisters, extend a hand, and take hodlers on horseback to the moon. Vitalik has a more tempered view. He thinks it's all about corner stores. An interesting counterpoint in amongst the hype, but is he right? Let us know in the comments. Playboy is mad they are not on blockchain. The adult entertainment company is suing Canadian firm Global Blockchain Technologies, GBT, for fraud and breach of contract. GBT was meant to integrate the Vice Industry token, VIT, on Playboy's media sites. Playboy claims the firm not only failed to do so, but also omitted a payment of $4 million. GBT dismissed the lawsuit as a normal dispute between two businesses, calling the fraud charge frivolous. In March, Playboy had announced plans to develop an online wallet for customers to pay in crypto for their media that supports the Vice Industry token. Although much derided, the adult entertainment industry is often on the cutting edge of tech. According to the Vice President of Pornhub, history has proven that the adult entertainment industry plays a critical role in adoption for innovative technology. We saw that with VHS, Betamax, credit card payment loans, and most recently, VR goggles. Crypto trading volumes on Turkey's exchanges has skyrocketed this week following the currency crisis. One exchange reported a 63% increase in Bitcoin trading volume, while others are up 35% and even 100%. The surge is in thanks part to the fact that Turkish banks still work with exchanges in the country, allowing new adopters to enter the space without too much trouble. Bitcoin may be the safest place at the moment. The dispute between Donald Trump and Erdogan over steel tariffs shows no signs of being resolved. Desperate measures like Erdogan calling on Turkish citizens to exchange dollars, euros, and even gold for lira is not helping the situation. The lira is down 45% this year. Can Erdogan weather the storm? Well, he did appoint his son-in-law's finance minister, prompting the Guardian to label the minister the Jared Kushner of Turkey. Take from that what you will. You know it's a bad week when Brian Armstrong cast doubt on mass adoption. The Coinbase CEO said that he thinks mass adoption of Bitcoin is still a long way off. According to Armstrong, I think it will be quite some time before you cross the street to Starbucks and pay with crypto. It's probably not a coincidence that he mentioned the major coffee chain. Last week, Starbucks had to deny that customers could buy Frappuccinos with Bitcoin after many misrepresented their partnership with Microsoft and the Intercontinental Exchange. Armstrong estimates that only around 10% of crypto is used in day-to-day -day transactions. However, he noted that, despite bubbles and corrections, real-world adoption has been on the rise, despite the fact that certain governments around the world are trying to put a stop to crypto. But Armstrong is bullish on countries like Venezuela and Turkey, where crypto is on the up due to economic crises. Finally, a listicle we can get behind. This week, hipster economics from BuzzFeed released six epic ways to spend your Bitcoin. A welcome reminder that although prices may be falling, there are real-world examples of mainstream adoption. At number one, gift cards. In the US and the UK, it is possible to exchange crypto for gift cards that allow you to buy any number of products, from sneakers to toy snakes. Number two, air travel. You can book airline tickets with cheap air using crypto, take a trip to the various cryptopias around the world, be it Malta, Puerto Rico, or Zoo in Switzerland. Number three is Apple stock. A borderless stock exchange is about to be launched where you can exchange Bitcoin for Apple stock, among other things. Once you get on board, maybe you'll be able to convince fellow Apple investor Warren Buffett that Bitcoin is great and not 
rat poison. Number four, beer. Thirsty? Well, if you are, CoinMap can tell US hodlers where they can buy beer with Bitcoin. Number five, shop on Amazon. This means you can buy literally anything with Bitcoin, but you have to do so via an app. And finally, at number six, buy household goods on overstock.com. Their CEO is a Bitcoin believer, so it makes sense he's put his money where his mouth is. Like, subscribe, and if you're not scared of the volatility, hodl. Cointelegraph, like, subscribe, and hodl.